Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. Just looking around and doing some maintenance and such. Uh, I think since we've got so much gold that we want to start trying to get rid of some negative quirks. I think we're going to begin with uh, Hagiomania because that's one that takes control away, makes them interact with religious stuff. So we're going to stick Arvitas in here to do that. Get rid of that, 1650. I think a Blutomania maybe too. That's 5500 to get rid of. Let's go with this for sure. What is it to upgrade this place? All right, busts and crests. Reduces cost. I guess out here it's opening up. Or maybe this is what open, yeah. Patient sales increases medical ward, and I guess that probably increases treatment ward. I guess we're fine with that for right now. Also, <clears throat> I was uh, fooling around with trading, and I noticed that we can actually trade busts at a decent rate for deeds, so we can trade 15 busts for 10 deeds, which will allow us to upgrade our weaponsmithing to level 2. So I think we're going to go ahead and commit to doing that. We still do need a bunch of portraits for the guild too, so we're going to do an adventure that gives us portraits as a reward this time. Uh, let's hit that. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. Does it now? Let's see, sort by activity. Uh, Martin is going to need some upgrades, so we'll do that. Uh, don't think these level zeros do. We're going on a level one mission, if you hadn't guessed by the levels of the people we're taking out. Terry's fully upgraded. Let's make sure about our skills here. Left click, not right click. Uh, yeah, we're fully upgraded there. Seems good. Point blank shot, so he can use this from the front, and it'll move him to the second position. So maybe we'll actually want him to be in the first position. So he's not going to have the tracking shot. Let's try this since we haven't used point blank shot yet. And our Jester here, I think those skills are fine. We definitely want to upgrade your heal. You're going to have to probably carry this team here, Martin. Uh, yeah, in fact, I don't know that I want Weakening Curse anymore. Uh, we're going into the Cove again. I guess it's fine. I'm not going to upgrade it though. We will upgrade that and that. Seems fine. And it's going to be a shorter mission so we don't need to camp. So we don't need to worry about camping skills. Are there any? No, there are not. I was actually going to take our abomination out on this one. But unfortunately, Terry refuses to go with the Abomination. He says if we take him, that he will not go. And we've still not been offered a Grave Robber? That may be the only class left that we haven't gotten. I'm not at all sure, but I've put people in for stress relief that need it badly. Uh, the people with low stress are going to get additional stress relief from this event. So that's good. Let's at least check this wagon, since we have a ton of gold. Well, not quite that much gold. Don't want snake oil. We could start upgrading that, but I don't think I want to waste gold on that. Going to be doing this one here. Uh, quickening Satchel, Grave Robber only. Maybe we'll get a Grave Robber eventually, but it's the only one that's offering portraits. And it's okay gold. Uh, we do want to go back into the courtyard, but to do that, we're going to have to get another invitation, and we haven't gotten one yet. Um, requires an invitation. If we go there, we do not possess it. Uh, we probably are going to need to get blood soon, but the one that's being offered is champion level 5, so that's a no-go for us. 
Our trinkets we've got are, of course, the leper-only trinkets on Terry. For our highwayman here, we're giving Dismas's head and the camouflage cloak. Our new jester is getting Barristan's head and the shimmering cloak. And then Martin is getting the sacrificial cauldron for extra damage and the chirurgeon's charm for extra healing. Let's get provisioned, shall we? Again, there are chances for coral here. Uh, it's a short one, so I think the two that they're giving us is sufficient. We'll take we'll take one stack of food. Probably is overkill, but we want to be safe. We're not going to be doing a dark run, so we're going to take say six torches. Uh, we'll take a couple of holy waters, a single laudanum just in case. We do need a blood. What is your condition? You are not craving or wasting, so one should be fine. We don't have a plague doctor, so we should probably take an anti-venom and a bandage. A couple of keys, as always. And, of course, I'm going to take two shovels. Let's do it. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Unfortunately, we didn't get a scout this time. Got a little spoiled on our last excursion since we got an infinite Ancient. number of scouts why and wait unsprung and thirsting for blood that's a good start the light the promise of safety all right we got two stressors here sadly we didn't get a surprise uh tempted to start off with a battle ballad of course we could harvest hit a stressor in this one and it does have a chance to inflict bleed Got 20 and 10% bleed resist. Let's go for that. All right, we did get the bleed. Awesome. Ooh, good dodge. No, don't doomsay. Stress is so stressful. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with the buff. Seems definitely worth it. Damage output increase is significant. We don't have a buffing shot on you. Actually, I should have moved you to the front before we came in here. Um, see, that doesn't advance you. Let's do the pistol shot and go for the stressor here. All right, so you're going to bleed out, so that's good. Nice dodge. Uh, could try to pull the spearman forward. Uh, yeah, let's do that. The ground quakes. Nice crit. Well done. Alright, I think we're going to go for the slice off again. These guys are not really doing damage to us yet. One of them resisted. Um, three, two, you're not quite dead. I do kind of wish we had scatter shot at this point. Maybe, though, we should just go for damage and stacking some more bleed. And that has you dead. A slow death. Unforeseen. Awesome. Unforgiving. Just picking them off one by one. All right, the first significant damage we've been dealt. I don't think it's too bad, though. Um, let's go ahead and fire off a heal, keep everybody topped off. Unfortunately, got the bleed, too. Uh, we have, I need to reverse these, Hugh, I like Hugh better than Chop. Destroy them all. There's not a huge damage decrease, and where it's doing it to two, two targets, it actually averages out to be more damage, I think, anyway. See, that will move you forward. I don't know if we want to do that. Let's start some stress healing. It's really why you're here. Uh, kill it. Or just damage it. Either one. That one has 60% bleed resist. Okay, fair enough. Oh, Jesus. Six damage per round? That is unfortunate. Still no crits on the corpse. Uh, heal again. Please don't stack another bleed. Holy jeez. We're going to have to use a bandage on him. Hopefully we can kill this thing and then bandage him uh, before we move. Okay, 
you're dead. Let's make sure. Press this Good. Advantage. Give them no quarter. We'll take all of that, please. Stop Lord bleeding all over the place. Into the mud. Let's see. Let's fix our order and actually... We're going to move you here. And then you can lead off with your point blank shot and we'll see how that works. Uh, yeah, let's uh, open this. If only treasure could staunch the flow of... Otherworldly corruption. That was not a very good chest, considering we used a key. So we don't have to complete all the room battles this time, just explore 90% of the rooms. Alright, Crimson Court enemies here. If you could please just slow down for a second and not go before every single one of my party members. But of course you're going to. Damage and stress. Stress is a silent killer. Except in the middle of it, because after they get tested, they could be very loud and annoying. Uh, yeah, let's try the point blank shot. Does 10 to 19? Good chance we can get a kill with this. Obliterated. Awesome. Let's heal. Very good. Now, if only we can get Terry to resist the bleeds when you heal him. Um, is it worth it to buff up? That's doing 7 to 13, 11 to 21. I think it's worth to just keep hewing. It's pretty good damage. Also, I think gives us uh, an, another chance of a crit because we have two targets. Um, slice, or not slice off, but harvest. A powerful blow. Good deal. Right. Let's please not infect anyone new with the Crimson Curse. Um. Yeah, go for you. Ah, oh, resisted the bleed. Darn it, that is unfortunate. At least you should kill them both. Their formation is broken. Maintain the Well offensive. done, got some extra blood, which is something that we need, and you are craving now. So there you go. It's empty. <clears throat> As is this room. Still not getting any scouts. Well, let's go down here. Feels like it's probably worth it when we're not feeling especially threatened to do full clears of these just for the money. Um, herbs is good on these, right? Is it worth doing that when we could instead use it on Eerie Coral? Sure. We'll, uh, we'll do that, I suppose. Ooh, 10 dodge for our antiquarian? That's not bad. Guess it was worth it. Of course, if we find two eerie coral, it's not going to be because then we could get rid of two quirks and save ourselves a couple thousand gold. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. All right. And purpose is made clear. Well, apparently there are, are no room battles in this dungeon. Which honestly is not a problem. We get loot whether there are battles or not. Just not as much. Our antiquarian has us not quite rolling in gold, I don't guess, but fairly, fairly safe. Alright, we're just going to open it. Deeds, we need those too. Awesome. Running low on torches. Only got two left. Maybe should have taken a whole stack. Oh, we finally got a scout. Secret room? Nope, no secret room. Can't hurt to ask, though. Game doesn't know you want one if you don't tell it. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. 
Of course, that could also work to your detriment since the game seems to be a bit sadistic as well. A trampled journal 3 of 4. Yule, my dear friend, exemplary warrior, a survivor of the King's Wars, and many stories in these halls, met an ignoble end. We were weary, Yule and I, as we searched for sanctuary. Weariness, it appears, has a murderous streak. It blinded him to the mechanism that tripped the spikes which eviscerated him. I held him as his essence slipped away. Another giant fallen in our mad pursuit. I am alone now, weary but unbowed. I press on. Alrighty. Wonder how that worked out. Uh, we'll take these. What do we want to dump for the jade? Probably... Well, we've got four of those, though. That's that's a thousand gold. Could just use up our torches. I think that's fine. In Radiance, may we find victory. All right. See what's in this chest. Booty inside. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Excellent. Now it must be carried home. I don't think that's going to be a problem, but then again, I keep getting warned that overconfidence will be the death of me. Feels like we're pretty well equipped for this particular adventure. Let's take all that. Yep, no more torches to light, so we may get into the darkness, which... It's not a huge deal. It does give us extra loot and such. Please stop whining at us. It's maddening. All right, I think uh, Harvest is perfectly fine. Nobody's particularly high on stress. Though maybe we want to start uh, dropping some stress heals on Martin here. Uh, definitely want to heal. Wish it wasn't for two. At least he resisted the bleed for once. Uh, buff it. Confusion, nerves, hmm. and panic. Well, the point blank shot was good, but I forgot to move him back to the front. Uh, try to get some bleed. These things are not very resistant to that. So you're dead. Great awesome. The weapon that cuts on its own. Also awesome when they bleed out that they don't leave a corpse. Ooh, what's that buff? Stun chance, that's horrible. Alright, our stress is getting out of hand now. Let's go for the highwayman. And heal again, please. That's a decent heal. And thank you, Terry, for resisting. All right, we get control. I thought he was going to act on his own. We're going to hew or miss. Well, at least blue it can hit. Let's see, two damage. Hopefully, it doesn't heal itself before we get to kill it. Nope, it is. And maybe infecting Martin. Nope, good. All right, so yeah, stress heal. need to stop this from getting out of hand especially since we're in the dark and we're not really overkill on levels this time uh heal yourself wow what a crit well done uh can we please kill one of these thank Decimated. you that is very helpful in our survival chances um yeah let's go for the single targets because it's a guaranteed kill if we hit Nice crit. Uh, bleed him. Sweet. Uh, still gonna stress heal. Seems the correct play. And, yeah, let's just top everyone off if we can. Unfortunately got the bleed, but I think that's okay. As well, the fiend falls... A faint hope blossoms. No crit, but at least we killed it. And we're not having to drop stuff to take our loot, which is also nice. 
Right? Yeah, no room battles. Uh, well, this should complete the adventure, but I think we'll full clear. I'm not going to spend our last herb on this. Nope, nothing here. Well, we're going to continue for sure. There's got to be a treasure room in here, right? It, oh, looks like we've had a respawn. That's two in a row in these adventures. And we had not had one up until last episode. All right, as long as you're not stressing, I don't care if you're buffing. Uh, in fact, let's get you within range of our heavy damage dealers. Uh, yeah, again, Confidence forgot to move the highwayman to the front. The enemy crumbles. It's probably going to be that way for the rest of this adventure. Should have had him in the front to begin with since we were trying out the point-blank shot. Uh, is it worth it to buff? Yeah, it's worth it to buff. Alrighty. Oh, please don't stun him. You did, though. Which, he's got less stun resist because of his trinkets, so... That's understandable. Okay, well, I had a bit of an interruption there. Somebody came to the door, so give me just a second to reorient myself here and see what we're doing. Uh, yeah, we're healing. Alright. Well, glad we dropped the heal on you. And thankfully, the enemies aren't keying in on him either. Alright, so... Yeah, I think it's worth it to deal some damage. And, power. and some good damage at that, so you're dead. You're not really close to being dead. I don't think he can hit back there. Um, yeah, go for the single target this time. Back to the pit. All right, yeah, we got a heal again. If you could throw out another one of those 20 plus heals at some point, that would be awesome. No pressure though. Uh, yeah, you. All right, so they're both gone. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. So we definitely want to get some stress healing done. I guess on yourself. Good a target as any. Same principle with the stress healing as with the actual healing. Can we delay? This doesn't do damage, right? No, it does. Okay, never mind. I guess I should have looked down here. Be wary. It's Time fine. I would just want to try to get off an additional heal because I'm greedy. All right? Do we need anti venoms? Probably not. Gonna dump those and the laudanum. Yep. It's typically what I do with the laudanum when we actually bring it with us. Alright, well, just one more hallway to go. Maybe we can get a scout and see what's coming up. But, nope. Alright, we don't have any torches left, right? No, we do not. Left, right, left. Darkness closes in. Alright, that's unfortunate. Haunting Probably of men. going to be a fight in here, so we're going to top off with the last of our food. Seems good. Going to also holy water on you. There may be a curio that wants holy water in here, but I think we can afford to use one. Let's see. Yeah, that should be fine preparation. Ooh, well, luckily we have a shovel left, and that's what it takes to keep from getting clamped up in one of those. Damn it, we got another Crimson Curse. That is unfortunate. Alrighty, well, I think we should probably move you back. Here we go. Go for the bleed on you. 
want to kill you if we can. Uh, do we want to heal abyssal artillery? So that does two to three. Could get a crit and get the kill. Nobody's in desperate need of a heal. We did. Well, not a crit, but we got the three, which is not quite enough. Uh, this time, I'm going to forgo the buff and kill you while dealing some damage back here. Eradicated. Or we'll just double crit and Terry will slaughter the whole enemy party on his own with no backup. All right. Um, let's throw a heal this time. Thank you. Well, you can't infect him again there, Sycophant. He's already got the curse. Uh, let's do some stress healing since this is the last fight. Let's try to keep our stress under control where we don't have to spend money to relieve it. Uh, go for you. You are the more annoying one. Um, single target has a chance. Rolled real low on the damage there, unfortunately. Alright, uh... Accuracy's higher there. Damage doesn't really matter. One's going to do the job. But a crit's nice. Uh, yeah. Keep on... Keeping on. Inspiration and improvement. Uh, yeah, throw out a heal, please, just to make sure we don't lose anyone. Though nobody's doing a very good job of resisting the bleeds at present. Doesn't matter, though. Terry's had enough. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. See what's in this giant oyster. A bit more loot. All right, this has been pretty good. We will find all manner of great and terrible things in this watery tomb. Uh, 11,500 is pretty good treasure gain from a short adventure. Awesome. Please. Well, everybody got at least a positive quirk. Sweet. That's not great, I don't think. Obsessed with killing seems like something that's going to wrest control away from me. Photomania, sure. That's another thing that seems like it's going to activate things I don't want it to. But it looks like Martin got a disease, unfortunately. Minus 50% bleed resist. That's horrible. We need to get rid of that. Yeah, you are going into the medical ward, I think, my dear friend. Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, unfortunately, looks like Juddyism has gotten calm, but it replaced Ligophobia, which is... I guess the calm's worse. The negative damage, it's only on the first round, but that is significant. We got rid of Hagiomania from Arvidas, which is awesome. Come down from Bloodlust, controlled the urges. Well, looks like a lot of people's controlled the urges. Are you guys back to wasting again? You're craving. Yeah, everybody's craving. We may have to take a high level group into the Crimson Court to harvest some more blood, but I think we're doing okay for it right now. Let's check the coach before we end and still have not been offered a grave robber. We'll check our quirks here. Tough's real good. Uh, curious is horrible. Uh, pretty sure that's going to make you read books and books are evil. Calm doesn't really matter that much on an antiquarian. Those aren't particularly good uh, of quirks on an antiquarian either though. Huh. Yeah, don't think we want any of these. And that is where we're going to end the episode. I'll deal with maintenance and things before we set out again. Uh, as a reminder, if you would like to put your name on the list 
for being put on an adventure that's most likely to die during this campaign, then leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like as well. It really does help tremendously. And until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.